Alright guys, it's Arj here and I am back with another tutorial of a character. This time I'm going to be Lily. Lily I used to main back in the day, back in the Tag 2 days. Still quite fond of her, still use her often. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go over in a, one of many tutorials of I think every single character, so stay tuned. Um, what I'm going to be showing is basically start off, I'm going to show off her basic moves, the intermediate way of how to play her in uh, for beginner to intermediate and then I'm going to move on to how each of these moves, what her greatest moves are, what her best pokes are, what her best strings are, combos those sort of basic moves that get you started of using Lily, I'm going to then show you a top high level Korean gameplay now if you guys aren't aware already why I'm known in the Tekken community I'm basically known as the official uh, content collector of Tekken 7 gameplay and content. So even before the game was out, long before, I was posting a lot of gameplay and a lot of matches which helped a lot of people to learn their characters and get to a very high level in the game without even touching the game. Because basically I have each and every character sorted out into a playlist. So. If you're a Kaz player or a Heiachi player, just click on the Kazuya playlist and you'll see tons of high level gameplay from all across the world. If, you see, if you're if you Ask player, the same thing. Click on the playlist on my channel and you'll see the gameplay. So after I've taught you these basics with Lily, we're going to be going over to see one of the gameplays, the high level gameplays of Lily in Korea, to see just how all of these moves are put into practice so that you have a better understanding of just what to do in the game. Okay, so let's start. So I don't want to get in too much into the frames because not a lot of people really understand the frames or take too much time. I mean, a lot of people are casual players right at this point in Tekken. But I'll just go over it quickly. So Lily's fastest punish for most moves is just a simple 1 2. Now, the next one is 2 4. Now, the 2 4 is of extreme importance to Lily. As basically, one thing you need to know when playing Lily is that Lily has one of the best side steps in the game. She's only second to Elisa, so her, Elisa and Miguel have the best side steps in the game. This means they can side step more, they can evade a lot more attacks. Now, what this is really useful is for Lily can do moves like this. So she can do some moves and she can side step and then do 2-4, which is super fast and unavoidable. In this way she gets a lot of mileage and a lot of mileage out of wall combos which do staggering amounts of damage. Now we may as well just talk about her basic wall, her basic wall combo there, which is the one, the only one I'll be telling, talking about today, because it is basically the one that you can use whenever you want—a bread and butter wall combo. So that is basically you wall splat them and then just press forward three plus four, just press forward three plus four over and over again, and you will do that combo no matter what. Now other punishes she has, she has obviously a generic three um, down forward two. This will launch, allowing you to do whatever you need. She also has a very far reaching uh, forward 2 plus 3. Now, this is again another very, very good move of Lily's because not only is it quite fast and damaging, the range, look at the range of this move. And that is just with both moves attached. What I'm doing there is I'm missing. I'm missing the first hit and hitting with the second move. Now this is extremely useful as this move is very hit confirmable. So if we look at this now, I've thrown it out and I can hit confirm it. Look at that did that gap in time before I hit out the second move. And what that's useful is for tricking your opponent, making them think that you've whiffed, making them think that you've whiffed, and then hitting them with that second hit, going for the full wall combo, wall splatting them. It's a brilliant, brilliant move. Other moves she has, right, in terms of punishing and with punishing. So she has the quarter circle forward 2 1. There's so much to talk about with this move. A fantastic move because, again, it is hit confirmable and to an extreme degree. Just Let's just look at how, how much, how many seconds we can get before we can hit that second move. Look at that. 
That is at a delay of at least a second. You're expecting your opponent to do nothing in that time. You can counter it, people, so many times. Speaking of counter hit, this is what makes it so strong. On counter hit, you can get a combo. You can get a full combo on counter hit. That is fantastic considering just how long you can hit confirm it. The next amazing thing about this move, you can cancel it into a back turn. Now, what you do here is, you do the quarter circle forward, one, two, one, two, but as you press two, you hold back. So, one, two, hold back. From here, you can either do a quick low down four, or you can go for a mid option, just pressing two. This is fantastic because on the counter hit, it combos full combo. Another great addition. It's really fast and likely to counter hit. Other options include, you can go for this option, another fast mid. You don't need a counter hit and you can combo again with that. Another option here is you can go down 1-4. I mean, no, down 3-4, sorry. So, this is great at the wall. Wall splats, fantastic move. Another move not many people use in the higher ranks because it's very slow and very punishable is down forward 3 plus 4. But this also lets you combo into then down 3-4, which is extreme damage. So if you want to use that move, what I'd suggest is what some people use, a lot of people do, is once you've back turned, duck. Duck. This ducking tricks opponents and throws off their timing. So once you've done a duck, then do it and they will be none the wiser of that move and most likely will not be able to com uh, block it unless they're very skilled. Again in this back turn mix up, if you're looking for something slightly faster than this, uh, you can just go for the generic 3 very fast but can be docked so be careful and of course there's just one plus two quite fast as well but it's because it's quite slow and it's too too highs it can be docked very easily and punished so be careful another move staple moves of Lily is of course this move so this is when uh, it's called a root of evil I believe so you forward forward four and this allows you to get into a back turn as well. So all the same things apply. Down, down move, a mid move. It's just, she has a lot of back turn shenanigans which make her a very strong character. Another move which is very, very deadly and dangerous but must be used with care is again taking advantage of Lily's sidestep ability and that is the Matterhorn. So this pushes your opponent right into the air and leaves them vulnerable to any combo. Does massive amounts of damage, can change the flow of the game drastically. So that's one way of using it. You can of course mix it up with this move which is another great move to be used particularly in a neutral game as it's easy to throw out, safe and it has a number of um, extensions. So she can either go in straight for the 3 extension which on counter actually wall splats which is great because if you're not expecting it then you will get hit and but of course she also has to trick people since that was a high she can do the mid Matterhorn which is fantastic now a move I just showed you there is the down forward 3 a fantastic move fast gives you extreme plus frames I can do whatever I want if it hits I can do whatever I want even if it blocks I can show you now standing guard uh, look at the animation look at the animation you can tell there's power in that hit now with that a lot of people seem to do because they're anticipating the character to press a button just go 2-4 straight away 2-4 two, 2-4 four, two, four. Then you'll get a wall splat and a combo and everything. But yeah, this is great for just throwing out as also because on counter hit, it also leads to a combo. Would you believe that? So here we go. Counter hit, straight into combo. Oh, forgive me. 
straight into combo. So, it's a fantastic move to be throwing out there because it's fast, safe, and gives you a lot of plus frames and can hit on count here. So, Lily is by far still a very good character. In terms of more of the neutral game, sort of pokes you can use. Great pokes, of course, is that she has the low down three. Down three. In the higher levels, a lot of people seem to be coupling this down three with a quick down four as well. Unexpected, fast, plus frames. Perfect move to use. Added damage. Also, of course, there is the flip. This is a high, high range attack. We could come from anywhere, it could just be random, it can crush so many moves. See any whiff and just go bam. And combo, full combo straight away. You can also cancel it, not you can also cancel it to go like this. And so forth. Cancel it with a with a down uh four. You can also because if you do do this the one flip, they can actually jab you out like they can jab you out like this so one way to or they can down jab if they down jab a lot that will that will stop it immediately now the way to go past that is to be risky and go for the double flip the double flip will allow you to uh, ev evade any down jab or any sort of poking to get you out of that move so when you do that you're also left in good oki so Oki means you're in your back turn position, they're on the floor, you can do whatever you want. You can do something that will get extra damage. So I'm here, maybe I'll go for here and back again with this down 3-4. Extreme damage just from Oki. Now, again, other moves she has is of course, she has the 1 plus 2 as I told you, but she can extend this with a 1 plus 2 low or she extend this with a 1 plus 2 mid. So very good. Um, mix up there underrated mix up if I say must say so much so myself I use that a lot during the tag two days and not many people were able to stop me especially when you couple that with the fact she's kind of at a sidestep when she does that she's at a slight slant a slight sidestep as she does that allowing for you to quickly sidestep and press 2-4 again getting a wall splat now other moves she has is the forward down uh, no the forward to one plus two another fantastic move that gives you plus frames fast and can really push the character down so look it pushes you can see from animation it's pushed down go for a low go for a mid you can do whatever you want you'll be safe to do so from wall standing she has a launch and she also has a fantastic move which is this string so this does a lot of damage like almost a quarter of damage just from that that one string the only problem with this string is that it is mid high so very duckable and very punishable and of course this low is not the fastest low there is no mix up either so you can be beaten easily so the real way to use that move is to just either only do this at the highest level only do that because you do not want to be ducked duck maybe do a couple of lows that's what you should be doing if at the intermediate level just do this just do this do not go for the low and every so often randomly because it is hit confirmable chuck in the four in that way you catch people off guard and then you have the okey to go hit them on the floor and do whatever you want another thing that interesting I've noticed about this move is that now it's been given count hit properties so again full combo possible that's fantastic again from Lily and a good addition in my eyes now another great move from Lily that they've been adding to this game is her armor move so here we are standing and you can now do this and as you've noticed this is one of the only armor moves in the game that allows you to combo straight from it so fantastic additions for Lily this move I just did here is the quarter circle forward 3 plus 4 
A fantastic move again for plus frames and for wall splatting. It crushes so many highs and mids so you can throw it out from range and be happy because not many people will be able to duck this move. I'll show you now, it's sort of plus frames are fantastic. Look at that, it pushes the guard straight away allowing you to do any low, anything you want. Fantastic move. And finally, I'd like to talk about this move which has been given and buffed completely. Look at the speed of this move now. Ridic you can, it's so fast you can do it twice. It's, all, it's literally just as good as the Tekken tech, tech Revolution version. I, I, I do imagine this will be nerfed at some point. Because it is ridiculously good. Oh, and also, one thing to remember is... So she has this low, which is very, very slow and punishable. And I would not recommend using this move ever if you're going to try and become pro or intermediate with Lily. The only scenario where you can use this move with Lily is if you first do forward forward 3. Forward forward 3 allows you to transition into the quarter circle movement but it also allows you to to duck and then transition into this. In this way it is very hard to really tell the, what move you're going to do because there's so many options. You could either be doing this mid mid or you could be doing the quarter circle or you could be doing the quarter circle cancel into this and this and this or now you can just be doing straight into the combo low so it's a fantastic mix up potential for Lily in this game that you need to really make use of but other than that low the low I'd really recommend using is the quarter circle forward uh, what uh, three down forward three this is fantastic because you can really just throw it out you could be moving about moving about and then just suddenly do this move and it's very hard to tell when it's coming and it's got added benefits as you can on counter here it's a full combo yet again so those are the main ways I like to use Lee. the main perfect moves for Lily the te techniques the sidestep 2-4 the sidestep Matterhorn Combos I like to use, back turn setups, ducking. These are the things you need to keep in mind when playing Lily at a higher level. Now we're going to see all of these same tips and techniques being used in a high level Korean match from my channel. So let's get right into that. Tekken 7 matches today, even before the game was released, contented and archived into this channel. So this is a channel for learning, a channel for watching daily, and for learning and being inspired and learning new tips and tricks so what we're going to do here as you can see here I have character playlists and I have every single character sorted out and organized to have their own separate list of high level gameplay so we were looking at Lily for now so we're going to look at the Tekken 7 FR Lily playlist and we're going to go find one that has a top player that I recognize that's great. All of these are top Korean players. As you can see, these are Overlord ranks, Dotering. So these are top players. Um, I'm going to go find... You've got only practice. Uh, I'm going to find one... Because I was looking at one with Bake Ryun. Okay, here is the one with Bake Ryun. Fantastic Lily player. So here they're playing against a pool player. So let's see what's going on. She starts off with a quick down one, which is a good low. She's using the string there to um, and extend the combo. She's now in the back turn mix up. She's using that down forward three a lot and then she's doing for the root of evil this combo straight away she's low parried now she's gonna use the back turn mix up potential to then use extend her combos she's done the quite unsafe low that I haven't gone over it's the uh, back down forward three plus four it's very unsafe very punishable 
but if you do get it and it is kind of unseeable you can then combo into the quarter circle forward three low so here she's in a neutral game so she's going to be doing the one plus two jabs And there we have it, she's got in for that extremely fantastic armor move that combos straight and she's won the game quite convincingly. So the next match, oh we'll move on to the last match. Okay, so here we are. She's done the sidestep Matterhorn just as I showed you. Fantastic move, a lot of risk reward involved with that. Okay, and now she's doing that that move I showed you, the up forward 3 plus 4. Again, a nice neutral move with a lot of extensions. She started off the match with a fast forward 2. She did the root evil there, turn back turn, and then did a mid. She could have done a low. That's the mix up of, the, of Lily. Okay, she saw an opportunity there to do the flip, and she got a full combo. Fantastic with punish. Again, as I said, that low from the 1-2 is very underrated and very unseen. On counter hit, it does actually produce a knockdown for more Oki. There, she's got some plus frames after doing the quarter circle, quarter circle forward 3 plus 4. Done the Rio of Evil into the back turn, into the mid. It's fantastic gameplay here. She's gone for the armor move again. And she got it, but obviously she got hit as well. She's traded. So as you can see, she is more or less using everything that I told you. And that is the way to play Lily high level in Tekken 7. So what I suggest for you to now do to learn Lily to a higher level is to now go through my channel. Of course, make sure to subscribe. But make sure to go to the playlist. Click on Lily or any character that you want for that matter and watch through those high level gameplay matches. I've got gameplay from Korea, the US, the UK, everywhere, Japan, everywhere. So just go in there, watch the highest level Korean gameplay that you can find and just try and visualize yourself using those same techniques and moves and you will do well in Tekken. All right, cheers until the next tutorial. See ya.